Hello everyone and welcome to GIR Golf. I am Jim and welcome to today's golf rules tip, the flag stick. This guy right here. Now in golf, the flag stick is a method of showing us where the golf hole is, especially when we're far away from the hole. So we can see at a distance and use our laser range finders, for example, uh, where our end goal is on a golf hole to get that ball in this hole. They're a great thing. Um, they, they come in very handy. And there's a lot of rules in regards to flag sticks. And in this video, I'm going to go over a few of those. I'm not going to be able to go into every minute, uh, uh, detailed rule that the rules of golf say about the flag stick. But I'm going to give you some very common ones that you see out there. Also, uh, back in 2019, a big rule change happened that we're still getting used to. All right, so let's talk about some rules with this flag stick. And let's just start right here on the putting green. In 2019, the new golf rule said that we can leave the flag stick in even on the putting green. Up until that point, it was a penalty, but no longer is that. So if I choose to do so, I can leave the flag in even though my ball is on the putting green. So I could get up here, make a putt. I even hit the flag stick. The ball went in the hole. Okay, my putt's made, and there's no penalty for this. All right, let's talk about another scenario here on the putting green involving the flag stick. Now, this time, this flag stick is leaning, and this happens a lot. I made my putt, and the golf ball is wedged between the flag stick and the edge of the cup. And the rules of golf say that as long as some part, any part of that golf ball, if it breaks the plane of the hole, then the, the putt or the chip shot or iron shot, whatever, wherever you struck the ball, it doesn't have to necessarily be on the green, that ball is classified as being hold. In other words, you made it, congratulations. I don't know how many times I see a situation like this where I can get down and I can definitely see that that ball is below the surface of the cup. Only about a quarter of it is, but it is. So I, I've made that putt, but often I see people do this. They'll try to pull that flag out. Okay, it's in there, it's good. Well, in this case, the putt was good before you did that. If, if I pulled this flag out and it went in, or if I pulled it out and it shot out there, it doesn't matter. If you understand the rules of golf, that putt or that shot off the green perhaps is made. So remember that. Now this situation here is quite different. My golf ball is wedged and touching the flag stick. However, if I go down and inspect, I can confirm that my golf ball is not below the surface of the cup. Therefore, unlike the last situation, I am not done with this hole. I still need to make at least one more stroke. Now, what a lot of people will do is do this. Lift it out and say, oh, good, I made it. And in this situation, that is incorrect. Uh, earlier, my golf ball had made its way below the top surface of the cup. Therefore, that ball was considered whole, hold, excuse me, whether I pull this flag stick out or not. In this case, if this happens, you know, if somebody left this flag stick in here on a crazy angle like this and your ball got wedged, by the way, don't do that. Put the flag stick in nice and straight and think about the golfers behind you. But now you simply lay the flag aside, if you like, put it up here. Golf rules say put it on the rim of the cup. So I put it right there on the rim, and I must make at least one more stroke. In that case, hopefully you make that one. Uh, if I wanted to at that point, I could put the flag stick back in, you know, if I, if I really want to do that. But you must put the ball up on the rim of the cup and then putt in. A lot of people don't know that. It's very, very important that you understand that if that ball has not, if, if no part of your golf ball is below the surface of that cup, then you are not done. You need to continue putting. Now the rules of golf say that I have the option to remove the flag stick if I choose to do so. I can leave it in or remove it. Uh, whether I'm off the green or on the green, in this case I'm on the green, I can choose to remove the flag stick if I like. So I'll do that. I'll remove the flag stick, lay it here off to the side, out of the way, make my putt. Okay, all good. 
and I can put the flag stick back. Put it in there nice and straight for the people behind you. Now, here's what we can't do. Let's say my ball's right here. What we cannot do is intentionally put the flag stick in a, in a position that will aid our putt. In other words, we can't have a backstop here. For example, I could use this as a benefic beneficiary means to keep my ball from rolling off. Get that out of the way. And do that, and you cannot do that. If I place the flag stick in an area where it is obvious that it's intentionally used as a backstop, again, if it's, this is intentional versus accidental, we'll get to accidental stuff in a minute. If I intentionally do that, and it's very obvious I did there, then if I hit the flag stick with the ball, it's a two-stroke penalty, and I must replay the shot. So remember that. Now, if I made that putt and I didn't hit the flag stick, I got away with it. But don't put yourself in a position of placing the flag stick, flag stick in, a, in an area where it could be accused of you as using it as a backstop. So here's another scenario. This time, my golf ball is here on the green, and this rule would, uh, wouldn't matter whether it's on the green or off the green. Matter of fact, all these rules are the same in regarding to the flag stick, whether you're off the green or on the green. This time, I've decided also to remove the flag stick. However, this time, I'm not gonna lay it intentionally behind the hole to act as a ball stopper. I'm gonna lay it off to the side to what I believe is a safe location for me not to hit it. But let's say I get up here and there's a lot of slope to the green and I don't see it and I just make a bad putt. As you can see on the camera, I'm not putting it in a position that's right behind the hole and I put it far enough away and I've even got it turned um, parallel to the hole. But it, if these things can happen. If, I, if the ball gets away from you and you hit just a terrible, terrible putt, by accident, you strike that uh, golf uh, flag stick, then in this case, there is no penalty because it's by accident. Now this, this can be a gray area. So the rule of thumb is get that thing out of the way or give it to another player to hold while you do this because you don't want to be in a, uh, a situation where you need to stand up for yourself and try to defend this because they could argue, well, you knew it was going to break that much and you put it there to, to make sure it stayed on the green. And that in this situation, they might, you know, win that argument, I don't know. So, you know, in hindsight, I should have put that flag a little farther off, but this can happen sometimes. I made a bad putt. Now the rules of golf say, because I did it by accident and I just, just misread it, then there's no penalty and I just play the balls that lies. All right, so along those lines, the last illustration, if something like that does happen and you think you have the flag out of the way and you just hit a terrible putt and you see your ball going towards the flag stick, you can re run and remove the flag stick to keep it from hitting it. A lot of people don't know that, as long as I didn't touch my ball, which I about did there. So there again, the lesson is take this out of play. Lay it off the green if you need to or lay it uh, in a position or give it to somebody where it is obvious you're not using this to cheat in some way, shape, or form. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, incur incurring penalty strokes. Now let's talk about a situation if you decide to have someone, whether it's your caddy or a fellow player, to tin the flag uh, stick. In other words, to show you the flag's location, but they're tending it because you want them to remove it as the ball approaches. That's the difference between pulling the flag stick or uh, leaving it in. You, wanna, you, wanna want them, you want the flag stick out of there and you have a right to do so, but you're so far away that you uh, want somebody to show you the hole's location. So let's say somebody asked me to tend this flag stick and I get up here, I pull it here, uh, whether I hold it above or leave it in there, a lot of times I'll pull it out just a little bit to make sure I can remove it because if I'm truly tending the flag stick, when that ball approaches, I need to remove this flag stick and let the ball go in or wherever it goes because that's the difference. If I uh, chose not to tend the flag stick and didn't want the flag out, then I would just remove it. But 
because I'm far away and I want to see where the hole is, uh, the rules of golf allow us to have somebody tend the flag stick. Uh, though either they may do, do something like this, but either way, they're tending the flag stick. But let's say something happens where the ball comes and hits me or the flag stick. Whether the flag stick's in the hole, maybe I can't get it out of the hole and the ball comes in and hits it, or maybe, uh, maybe I get over here and I try to get out of the way and it hits the flag stick. If, if it hits the flag stick or me because I've got my hand on it and tending it, this flag stick and I are treated the same. In other words, if this is by accident, and that's where all these rules, you're going to see there's a trend. Whether you did something accidentally or you did it deliberately or on purpose to try to cheat. In this case, we're going to say this happened by accident. Let's say I, I could not get the flag stick out and I, 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 I just I got in a panic and I, by the time I got it out, the ball hit me. In that case, the rules of golf are kind to us. It was a true accident. The ball just, you just play it as it lies, no penalty, good or bad. So now, again, just like if I purposely place the flag stick on the ground behind the hole as a ball stopper, that is a breach of the rules because you're trying to cheat. That You're gonna get a two stroke penalty. In this case, if I was the person's caddy and I deliberately did something to act as a ball stopper, as t as the person tending the flag, and it was obvious, you know, if I, you know, tried to sneak and just bump my foot out there to keep the ball from rolling out, for example, then then that's a two-stroke penalty, and they must replay the shot in order to avoid disqualification. So it's very important to know these rules and and know what you are allowed and allowed not to do with this flag stick. I've seen this happen. Perhaps I don't know if I've ever done this, but this is something worth showing you. Let's say I have this little short putt here and I leave the flag stick in and this happens. Let's say I get up here and I just really try to ram the ball in the hole and now I hit the flag stick and the ball is clear off the green in this case. Now, what do I do? My ball has not been holed. The ball has not come to rest below the surface of the cup. This is just a chance occurrence. I must play that ball as it lies over there. So be careful about the flag stick as far as if you decide to leave it in, make sure it doesn't cause, uh, cost you a stroke. In other words, bounce that ball out of there. Thanks so much for watching this video. And hopefully you've been educated on some of the rules in regards to the flag stick and what your rights are. Just remember the trend. Whether I did something intentionally or by accident can really affect what happens here in regards to penalty strokes. Uh, use your head and put that flag stick, if you decide to pull it, out of the way. Also remember that your rights are as far as whether the ball's being holed or not. As long as any part of that golf ball is below the surface of the cup, the top surface of the cup, you're in the hole. So remember that. Now remember, smile often, have fun. God loves you. We will see you next time.